welcome to the Holly Hit Workout. Today's workout, round one, perform each exercise 30 seconds with 10 seconds rest. Repeat three times. Your first exercise is split press ups. Ready? In three, two, one, go! Split press ups. So stagger the stance, dropping that chest down all the way to the floor. One hand goes back, one hand stays in front. Lower option, drop down to the knees. Rest. Your next exercise is split. Press it. In three, two, one, go. is split press up in three two one Next exercise is kettlebell skaters. Get ready in three, two, one, go. Kettlebell skater. So a lateral move, but every time get that hand to tap the top of the kettlebell. Drop the back leg behind and speed skate side to side. If you're doing this without a kettlebell, then you can still get the same move in and just take it into a lateral skater. Make sure to keep the chest up as you reach and tap side to side. Rest. Your next exercise is kettlebell skater taps. In three, two, one. Your next exercise is kettlebell skater taps. In three, two, one. seconds rest. Your next exercise is burpee upright row. For this one you're going to jump back into a burpee. As you jump through you're going to perform two kettlebell upright rows. If you're without a kettlebell 
you're just going to stay with your burpees. Get ready to go in three, two, one. Jump it back into a burpee, shooting those legs long behind you into a plank position. Jump back, jump through. Then you're going to perform two upright rows at the top of the move, ensuring the elbows are nice and high and lead the way. Alternative, if you're without a kettlebell, you're going to stay just with the burpees. Rest. Your next exercise is burpee to upright row. In three, two, one, go. So one burpee, two upright rows. Just jump straight back down. Rest. Your next exercise is burpee to kettlebell upright row. In three, two, one. One, go! So simply squat down, jump up and tap those heels together at the top. Squat, tap, squat and tap. So pick the heels together like little Dorothy saying there's no place quite like home. is squat air tap. Get ready in three, two, and one. Your next exercise is squat air tap. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go! Seconds rest. 
Your next exercise is hurdle jump to single arm row. Get ready in three, two, one. So six rows, hop over, and then six single arm rows. We take the leap over to the side, or you can step. Make sure on the kettlebell row, you're kicking that arm all the way back. Kettlebell roughly towards hip height and elbow straight back behind, not flaring out to the side. Keep that tension even on the reset. Rest. Your next exercise is hurdle jump to single arm row. Get ready. In three, two, one, let's do it. Okay, so remember guys, it's six little kickbacks. So six rows and then leap over. If you're doing this exercise without a kettlebell, then you're just gonna stay with the hurdle jump for the remaining time. Your next exercise is hurdle jump to single arm kettlebell row. Get ready in three, two, one. seconds rest. Your next exercise is in out squat thrust. Ready in three, two, one, go. So simply jump out and in. So you want to jump out wide so feet meet the hands and then jump in so knees up towards the chest so out and in now option if you're struggling with the out you can just stay with your regular squat wrists really try and focus on straightening the legs as much as you can as you jump out now this will depend on your own flexibility and depends also if your hamstrings are a little bit tight Rest. Your next exercise is in out squat thrusts. Get ready. In three, two, one, we're going. Next exercise is in out squat thrusts. Get yourself set. We're going in three, two, one.
rest. Your next exercise is static sprints. Ready, three, two, one, off we go. So static sprint, big knee drive, max power using those arms. Remember with your sprint, we wanna sprint as fast as we can till we can sprint no more. So even if you have to break it down into a little sprint, break, sprint, break, that is totally okay. Rest. Your next exercise is static sprints. Get ready. In three, two, one, sprint. Rest. Your next exercise is static sprints. Get ready. In three, two, one, go. seconds rest. Your next exercise is kettle bell swings. Now if you're doing this without a kettlebell you're gonna stay with hammer blows instead. Get ready. Kettlebell swings in three, two, one, go! So kettlebell swings. What we want to do here is hinge back and a big drive through. So all about the hip hinge, making sure as we pull through, we squeeze through the glutes. We keep that chest lifted, sit it back, big drive through. This is a big, powerful move. Rest. Your next exercise is kettlebell swings. In three, two, one, go! So sticking with the kettlebell swings. Now if you're playing along at home and you're not using a kettlebell, you're gonna do hammer blows. Now what they look like, the hands are over the head. We drive the hands down in between the legs and jump back through so arms stay nice and long. They're pretty much like you doing a kettlebell swing almost. You're driving down, then you're jumping up to the top with the arms straight up. Rest. Your next exercise is kettlebell swing. Get ready in three, two, one. seconds rest. Round one complete. Now for round two. Round two. Three exercises back to back with no rest in between. Repeated twice. Your first exercise is squat air tap. 
So, are you ready for this finisher? Let's do it. In three, two, one. Squat, air tap. New move is on its way. Kettlebell, upright row, burpee. Let's go. So remember, two upright rows, one burpee. New move on its way. It's kettlebell swings. Let's do it. Rest. Now I liked it so much. We're gonna do it one more time. So get yourselves ready. Your first exercise is squat, air tap. Three, two, one. New move on its way, that burpee upright combo. Let's do it. The final exercise is coming up. Kettlebell swings. Let's go. Final bit now, team. Come on, you got it. Workout complete. You've now completed the Holly Hit Kettle Hit Workout.